Okay, so I read this this morning and got up. Thank you very much to uh, Yuri Dice or Eurydices. I can't remember how to pronounce it. Even though I've known you for almost 10 years, you beautiful things, I love you. Anyway, um, yeah, I saw this on her uh, wall this morning, and I went and I read the article, and it disgusted me. Um, I've only read this one article. I'm going to do a little more research. I'm going to addendum this video after I've done so, but I'm just going to give you my first impression of uh, the sickness and how bad it's getting in the religious community. I'm not saying it's getting that bad for the entire religious community. I want to make that perfectly clear right now. I'm not even saying it's getting this bad for the fundy fucktard community. But I need you to listen to what I'm about to read, people, and uh, mirror this video if you get angry enough. Pastor orders his flock to beat gay couple arriving at church. If that's not bad enough, listen to what it's all about. No one would be surprised to learn that there are right-wing Christians in the country who disapprove of homosexuality. Neither would it come as a surprise in the rural parts of this country, Christianity and homosexual homosexuality when brought together can create a highly combustible mix. But who would imagine the hate and rage that would motivate a pastor to instruct deacons and members of his congregation, Grace Fellowship Church in Portland, Fruitland, Tennessee, to physically attack a couple arriving at church parking lot last Wednesday? The fact that one of the gay men attacked happened to be the pastor's own son. Your own son? You would have a flock beat your own son? You sick fuck! You are not a Christian. You're not even close. Um, Jerry Pittman Jr. no doubt contributed to Pittman Sr.'s noxious edict. According to Pittman Jr., after hearing his dad yell, sick him, my uncle and two other deacons came over to the car per my dad's request. My uncle smashed me into the door as the other deacon knocked my boyfriend back so he couldn't help me, punching him in his face and his chest. The older deacon came out and hit me through my car window in my back. These people aren't Christian. They claim to be Christian. They claim to worship God, but these people are more full of hate than the Fred Phelps group. I don't even think Fred Phelps would do something like this. I don't even think exposing the cult's Mr. James the Preacher would ever, ever, ever do anything like this to anyone. I mean, I hate both of those people with a passion. But if they don't come out condemning these people, you know, for what they did, then they've got problems of their own they need to deal with. Worse than anything we're aware of. Let's continue this story. The attackers also verbally assaulted the couple continually with anti-gay verbiage, which continued even after sheriff's deputies arrived at the scene. Bystanders and other congregants made no effort to stop the assault. Yeah. Beat the shit out of him in the name of God. It's okay. For that matter, neither did the deputy sheriff. Oh, corrupt officials! Isn't that wonderful? Well, that's the fucking South for you. Once the barrage of punches ended, the deputy refused to let the two victims press charges. Oh, I so see the uh, federal government getting involved in this case. Oh, there needs to be a federal lawsuit against the people that fucking did it. I hope he sues his dad. I hope he sues the police. I hope he fucks these people raw. Th this is wrong, people. This is fucking sick and wrong, and something needs to be done about it. Um, this might be a small, um, a small story, but for the purposes, I, I, I beg of you, please mirror this video as much as possible. Um, I want to make this something very out there. I don't even see it on the news. Um, it needs to be there. There needs to be national attention brought to the fact that this has happened. Some guy gets the shit beat out of him for being gay by his own dad and his damned congregation, and the cops won't file charges. That's a fucked up church living in a shitty little town with corrupt cops who can kiss my ass. 
So, are you a police officer or a sheriff's officer in the county housing the city of Fruitland, Tennessee? All I have to say to you is you can suck my dick. You don't deserve the badge you're wearing if you're one of the cops that refuse to let these people fucking file charges. I'm not sure about the rest of them, but you guys need to lose your fucking badges, boys. Let's continue this. Jerry Pittman Jr. and his boyfriend, Dustin Lee, have since filed charges against two of the men who beat them, as well as Pastor Jerry Pittman. A hearing has been scheduled in Gibson County Court for Tuesday, October 4th. One can't help but wonder if Pastor Pittman really thinks Jesus would back him up in this assault. No, he wouldn't. And neither would a lot of fundamentalist nutcase Christians, and that's a scary thought. Even they're opposed to what you did. You're a little too extreme for even the extremists, my friend. I hope you do jail time, Mr. Pastor whatever who the fuck your name is. I hope you do jail time. Hope you lose everything you own in this world. And I hope your time in prison is spent with big black dicks shoved straight the fuck up your ass.